Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome back to another awesome video and it's time for another unboxing. And so it's been kind of a little while because I had purchased this from Hasbro at least a few weeks ago, maybe more, maybe less, I can't remember. All I know is it was on that Hasbro day or whatever day it was where basically half of their figures or most of their figures were collectibles. Some of them were half off or they were cheaper and for whatever reason I think I did it all wrong because I bought these two figures here in the box which you guys probably have seen in the thumbnail or you guys will see later in a moment but I literally bought these guys for a regular price and I think what I found out later on was I had to basically I had to pay a certain like a certain price like if I had a total like let's say like a hundred dollars it the figures would be half off or something like that one of those deals and I was like okay it didn't work for me but whatever but it's whatever I got them for regular price I shouldn't have but hey no biggie but they're still cool figures we're gonna open up this good old box here with brown paper throw the brown paper out Throw the brown paper, and then we've got two figures I bought. I got, it's been a while since I, uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Let's just leave them there. Let's first look at Darth Maul from the Clone Wars Mandalore look, because this looks, I'm assuming this is pretty much the Clone Wars, even though it doesn't specify that it's Clone Wars, but let's face it, we know it's Clone Wars Darth Maul, because that robe, that attire is definitely from Clone Wars, and that that pose is definitely from season eight. So there's Darth Maul from Mandalore and then also Sleepwalker from the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness lineup. Which at one point I thought Sleepwalker would have been like a really cool, like deep cut, obscure character kind of cameo if they had him in Multiverse of Madness. Kind of like how there were so many characters that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 had cameoed. I thought Sleepwalker would have been like a, that type of character, the cameo in Multiverse of Madness, but eh, no biggie. Not gonna cost me, like, not gonna cost me the movie and everything. And I got this kind of paper. So, yeah, everything checks out. Basically, my first Anyways, let's put that aside. And I think we're gonna start off with Maul. It's been a while since I've actually gotten a Star Wars figure. Like, I actually bought one. I think the last time I bought one. I decided, I was like, you know what, I've been on this kick of Lightning Collection figures and um, Marvel Legends figures and some DC Multiverse figures. I thought to myself, you know what, I should start getting more Star Wars figures and get more other figures. So I'm going to start doing that. Not a lot, but hey. And also, like I said, I got this a few weeks ago, so it's, it was a, been a while, and I couldn't, like, immediately do the unboxing because it's work, pretty much, so. Yeah, this is definitely, um, Clone Wars Mall, because it, it does, it does the little, <laughs> you know, that was fine. The little, like, takes the lightsaber in half deal, although I don't get why it's not clicking in. There's literally a spot it does that, so is it not supposed to do that? It looks like it. Like, look, it's got the hole for it. It's got the little thing to insert it. And don't it, never mind. I was gonna say something, but never mind. Uh, anyways, so I think it's supposed to do that. It doesn't look right, but it, I think it can do that, kind of. I don't know why, but it doesn't match for whatever reason. With the robotic legs. Okay, we'll get him out of here. It's been a while since I've gotten these. It's so weird actually having like a six inch figure. I'm so used to grabbing like 10 inch, 12 inch, those types of figures right there. So it's kind of interesting having a figure like this because I used to collect a lot of the Star Wars figures like these and I have the old school ones too somewhere, but definitely a neat one to my collection. And I should, I'm gonna probably one of these days, like not like right away or immediately, but probably I'll start getting some Star Wars figures or any other things. I'm kind of like that. Keep my interest. 
definitely a lot of collectibles out there that piqued my interest on. Like, yeah, I'll definitely pick that up sometime. Let's see if we can do some cool stuff. Some characters. Lightsabers, and then we're going to move on to Speedwalker. I can get his lightsaber in. That'd be awesome. Come on, Maul. Cooperate, everybody. Cool. We did it. Best opposing, but we, we, we try. We try here. <laughs> no, it's not gonna work. Although that kind of works, this one. There we go. Alright. Here. Just, just stand still, man. Just do that for me. Thank you. And then. Move you aside for a second. You, you kill me here, man. All right, whatever. Just, just stand still. And we got Sleepwalker from the Marvel Legends series, like I said before earlier. And if you're looking to get this lineup, you can move get Doctor Strange, Darth Maul just fell, Wong, America Chavez, Baron Mordo. Doctor Strange, I'm gonna assume, because he, like, I've seen the figure, like, I've seen this figure before, and he's very, like, clear looking, so I think it's like an astral thing, for whatever reason, it's a genie lamp, so I have no idea what, what that's about, but okay. You have Despair, and you have Sleepwalker to make Rentra, I think his name is, I don't know, he literally just appeared in the movie for a few minutes, in the beginning, kind of, and then towards the end, and they never say his name. They just kind of go, oh, we have this, like, green minotaur that wants to be a sorcerer, I guess. So, yeah. But let's look at Sleepwalker for a second. The Sleepwalker is the guardian of the mindscape, apprehending beings that invade the sleeping minds of humans. He's a really cool, obscure dude. I don't know much, too much about him. I just pretty much know the basics with him, like, pretty much the description that I described sleepwalker and don't mind the um the strobe light around here so yeah hey guys <laughs> see look <laughs> anyways um let me back up a bit so it looks better yeah <laughs> um but he's a really interesting dude he's cool he's pretty cool and we're going to just open him how he is, honestly, at this point. So, we're just going to do that. And I hope, since we can pretty much talk spoilers, I seriously hope that Marvel does another lineup for the Multiverse of Madness uh, Build-A-Figures, or even if it's not for the Multiverse of Madness, just do, like, a some sort of special edition thing, kind of like how the MCU has been doing a lot of special editions and a lot of like anniversary stuff. Do some sort of special edition thing where you have the Illuminati as a, as like either like a four pack, six pack, whatever pack or individual figures you can buy. So that way you can have the Illuminati members as action figures, which that'd be super cool to have. And I know Marvel's not going to pay attention to this and Disney and Hasbro aren't going to pay attention to this, but it'd be a cool idea. Just saying it'd be awesome. I think a lot of people would love the idea of, uh, of, uh, Lashana's Captain Marvel. I forgot her last name, so Lashana's Captain Marvel, uh, of course, John Krasinski's Reed Richards, Charles Xavier, literally Patrick Stewart, and you get another Captain Carter figure, who cares? Um, Black Bolt, like, that'd be a really cool figure to have, too, Black Bolt. I haven't seen a lot of Black Bolt Marvel Legends figures, to my knowledge, and you get Rin Chiraz. Left foot or right foot? It probably doesn't matter, but it's a foot at least. So, or hoof. I meant hoof. And, uh, yeah, that's all the members. Yeah. Yeah, Captain Marvel, Captain Carter, Professor X, Reed Richards, Black Bolt, not counting, not counting, um, Baron Mordo. Now, 
sleepwalker here is going to try and escape the mindscape that is this box. So, let's do that. Ooh. Ooh. I like the shredded cape. It's kind of cool. That is really dope. Looks so cool and creepy and all like green and demon like kind of. I actually don't have no idea what would Sleepwalker be considered. Is he like is he supposed to be a demon? Is he just a um entity? Is he um holy crap, I just had the word in my head. What is he considered? A goblin? Ghost? Not a ghost, well kind of a ghost, I don't know, maybe. Um I had the <laughs> I had the what he was what he's called in my head but i totally just forgot it um but he's got replaceable fists and hands so we can do all sorts of other cool stuff with him look ooh, he's got a cool hand <laughs> Way, way, way better. There we go. That is our figures for today. Like I said, this was weeks ago I had got these guys, and I had purchased these guys weeks before that, but hey, I was busy with work, and here they are. And Darth Maul looks so out of place, so let's just move him to the side and just let him take his nap. <laughs> just, let him, just let him sit there, right over there. Um, but... Yeah, we all know that Darth Maul's here, but Sleepwalker is going to be in the shop for the majority of this. But I'm going to put him with my... I'm developing a different and new display over the right of me, which it's a work in progress. I'm going to do a little bit more other stuff, but I'm experimenting. And any, any time, any moment, any minute I have to just do stuff on my display, I will definitely do that. So, what do you guys think of these figures? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you bought anything for Hasbro Day, let me know what you guys bought and also the other things. But as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do awesome videos every day, if not every week. Make sure you ring the bell. I do new videos every day, if not every week. Share the video with your family, friends, all that good stuff and more. Put some suggestions in the comment section. You name it, I'll look into it, whatever it may be. If we do some questions, I'll eventually would like to do a Q&A again. Because I've been working around slowly doing a Q&A. I'm trying to do some more uploads slowly but surely. There's to be a lot more top 10 ideas I have in mind. I'm going to try and somehow do different formats for these some of these videos I'm doing. Like my usual top 10s or my reviews. So that way I can at least do top 10 and reviews. Because lately I haven't had time to really record my face besides doing these videos. But the idea is pretty much, I've been working, I'm gonna try and squeeze in a minute or so to just maybe do audio-like videos. So just clip videos, my audio, so audio videos, to audio reviews, audio top 10s, stuff like that. So maybe just start doing things like that. I'd like to do some more vlogging, especially since the things I have planned for this month, because things are gonna, gonna be really exciting. I'm gonna have more unboxings to show you all, because there's gonna be a lot more stuff and a lot more surprises coming. There's literally one I've had for a while, but I basically want to basically have the finished product done. So let's just leave it at that. I'm really excited to show you guys that when I'm done with it, maybe show you the process. Uh, I have two other things coming soon. I hope two are coming in. I know one's supposed to come in, but I have two suits coming in. And I can't wait to show those off. Uh, so I hopefully I could get some more likes and more subscribers so I could show you guys all this cool stuff, all this great stuff that's happening. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.